Okay, so this was a case sent in by a dentist for troubleshooting. It's a Maryland bridge from tooth number 23 to tooth number 25. Uh, from the looks of that pontic space, it looks like it was an immediate extraction. You know, there's a lot, so whenever you immediately extract something and take images, a lot of times you get artifacts like that. So to start from the beginning, let's go ahead and go to administration to see how things were designated. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and put our cursor over the top of this. And that looks correct. Uh, tooth number 23 and tooth number 25 were designated as veneers. It's in bridge mode. And tooth number 24 was designated as a pontic. So that's how you want to designate Maryland bridges would be veneer, pontic, veneer. Uh, but it's very, very important, especially for beginners, uh, to have your connectors right. So we're going to go ahead and hit edit. I'm going to go ahead and click on bridge. We'll go to connectors. And you need to make sure, especially for your initial design, that the connector is intersection. So we'll have intersection. We'll click on both of these. And you see they turn it to going up and down. Now to understand connectors, there's a video in the bridge section of the InLab 4.0 videos. But it always defaults to anatomic unless you designate it as, as an intersection. So first thing you want to do with Maryland bridges always is do intersection. Now, and I'll make a part two of this video that will go into some more advanced uh, Maryland Bridge applications. But for beginners, always do intersection. Okay, so we'll click OK, and let's go back to the model phase. The next thing that I recommend is whenever you have a fresh uh, extraction site like this, I, I like to just kind of get rid of it with the replace. Uh, calculating a pontic into all that bad uh, artifacts and data can really wreak havoc on your proposal. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Draw your yellow line with the replace. Hit apply and that'll get rid of it. Now understandable you probably want to make an ovate pontic site. That's very easy to do. We're going to go ahead and just do it later though. So for this point and purposes we're just going to leave this as is. Uh, the very next thing is set model axis. So there you can see I actually set the model axis already. This is extraordinarily important to your proposal. So we'll go through this in, in other videos. You also can see I kind of fast forward this case a little bit. With the edit model tools I also use the form minus just to, to form a little pontic space there. I didn't go down very far uh, but I just did a little bit just to outline where I want to draw those pontic margins. So once you've set this model axis we can go ahead and move forward. Uh, as you can see, I already have drawn the margins for the two wings, the two veneer wings. Okay, that's very simple to do. Just draw those margins. I did not draw the pontic margin because I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, drawing the pontic margin is the single most important thing when doing a Maryland bridge. Uh, too many people want to go ahead and draw it something like this, where it's okay, but they cut it short. So they get it somewhere in there. I think that's a good pontic line. The problem is, is if you visualize where this proposal is going to be for an incisor, it's going to be very hard for these connectors to make contact with the lingual surface of that tooth without doing some major alterations. So if you can visualize these two adjacent teeth, 23 and 25, look where that root structure is down there. So visualize that tooth number 23 or 4 must have been the same way. So draw those margins like you were making an actual crown prep on tooth number 24. Really extend them back to the lingual. That way your proposal is going to have some contact in those connectors. So that's your first step. We'll set the model or the insertion axis of the bridge. Uh, again we'll go through this in other videos but just to get that pretty close. Hit OK. We'll move forward. And again we, we've discussed uh, parameters in other videos so we'll skip that and just calculate our initial proposal. Okay, so that's my initial proposal for uh, the Maryland Bridge. Uh, actually, uh, very, very nice. You know, this can be fixed uh, with no problem whatsoever. We'll go ahead and just rotate this a little bit, get that incisal edge a little bit closer. And then from here, let's check the position. Maybe we'll go ahead and move it up just a little bit. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is maybe use uh, the replace function here. Excuse me, not replace, uh, dimension. So I'm just going to move it, make it a little thicker buccal lingual. 
just a little bit, just try to line up the height of contours on the facial. You know, that's pretty close there. And now we're going to start to work on the connector region. Remember from other videos, we can check our connector cross section by clicking down here. That's an 8.34. That's a 7.36, which is actually not too bad uh, for Maryland Bridges. But let's go ahead and start working on these a little bit. What I use to do this is just simply circular shape. I'll just rotate this. I like just to bulk out these areas of uh, all these teeth. Just make them really thick because the very last thing you want to have happen is you don't want one of those wings to fracture on you. Especially when doing lower ones, they're not making occlusal contact back there. You can thicken it out a little bit and then after it's done milling, then feel free to go ahead and adjust. That's what I usually do, actually. So we're really going to thicken those out. Okay, looks uh, very good. And let's go ahead and check our connectors again. We're at 9.68 and almost 9. So that's uh, that's actually pretty pretty good here. So uh, the last thing you're going to need to figure out, uh, now this is a very simple way. There's, there's actually another advanced trick that I'll show you in a separate video. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is we need to know uh, which part of this pontic is making contact with the adjacent teeth and which is actually um, just making contact with a connector. The easiest way to do that is simply instead of trimming, you don't want to trim, just go to display options, turn your lower jaw transparent, you're able to see right through there and now you can actually see which part is making contact. So when I look at this, this is actually pretty good. I'm not going to touch that. It's in the green. That should be nice. Here I have a lot of red, so I know that red is going to is going to wreak havoc. Uh, it's going to bind. So I'm just going to still take my circular shape, get it relatively small, and start thinning out the areas that is actually binding that adjacent tooth. And I don't touch the connector. Notice. Okay. So if I again look at these, uh, we're we're pretty okay. Now the last thing you can do is remember we talked about we can go ahead and make that pontic ovate even though we got rid of that. Just simply grab uh, your, your circular shape tool, go underneath the model, and drag it down as much as you want. Okay? You obviously, I usually will overdo it just a bit and then come back and adjust it. Uh, you know, you can do it all over, you get the picture. And uh, then I'll, I'll come back and trim back as needed. You, know, you can fix out here. You can do any any design tools you want. So that is the Maryland Bridge. Uh, typically, when I do Maryland Bridges, I, I worry a little bit about these wings fracturing off. So I do do it with anatomic connectors. Very very tricky. Um, I will get to that in a different video. Here's a mill preview though. This should survive no problem. You might even want to bulk these uh, connectors. These these uh, connectors we made out. Uh, this was an ideal case because we got the sprue to actually go, uh, the wings were so small we got the sprue to go on the pontic so we're not going to have any binding at all. So that's how I would do it as a beginner to get this Maryland bridge, just uh, make sure you use the intersection, intersecting connectors.